To begin this look, I'm going to take a gray retractable eyeliner pencil and I'm going to sketch out all that I want all, all over my chest. So the basic bow tie, the collar, and the suit jacket I'm going to paint on later. This is just marking it out so I have a basic idea of what I'm going to paint, which I normally do for most of my looks. It gives me a direction that I want to go in, so right now I'm just sketching out the eyes, the cheekbones, the jaw, and then later on the teeth. That way I'm not going in like straight ahead painting because I don't know if I can do that. Now I'm just going in with a teal body paint by Mehron and I am going to fill in the whole skull area, avoiding the parts that I'm going to paint black. So you may have to do a few layers of this paint because it's kind of opaque. So the more layers you do, obviously, the better the end result is gonna be. So now I'm just gonna fill in my eyes black, using again black Mehron paint. All the paints that I use are mostly Mehron, except I have a few Snazzery paints here and there. Now I'm just going to fill in the nose, and I'm going to take a fine artist brush, and I'm going to clean up the eye sockets, because they are going to be like the main focus of this look, since they're going to be so like set back. I'm going to take a great eyeshadow now, and I'm going to mark out all the indentations that I want on my skull. So all the little wrinkles and areas that I want to look deeper, I'm going to fill in. And right now I'm just taking the same gray eyeshadow and I'm dragging it down to create a shadow, like the, the jaw is a little set back and underneath the uh, cheekbones. Now I'm just taking that same color and I'm dragging it down to create little indentations where the, like, the teeth are gonna be. I just thought it looked cool. <laughs> Now I'm taking white body paint and I'm just gonna fill in the teeth. No rhyme or reason, I was just like, hmm, what, what looks best? Making sure to create the teeth on my upper lip and lower lip, that way it hides the line of my lips, basically. That way when I talk, it looks like, you know, I'm moving with, you know, my mouth. Now I'm just gonna highlight the cheekbones in any area that I need, you know, that a highlight would be. So I'm just gonna blend that out. Always make sure to blend out them highlights. The look is gonna turn out a lot better if you blend them out. Unless you're doing something like comic related, then it's okay, you know, stark highlights, that looks good. Now I'm just taking a gray body paint and I'm going to fill in the where like the gums would be. Just trying to add a little depth to the look. And I'm gonna go in with black body paint and I'm going to fill in in between the teeth. Now I'm just taking that same black body paint and blacking out all the areas that I don't wanna show that are gonna blend in with the background. And taking more black eyeshadow, I am going to like shade where my mouth is gonna be, add a little more depth. It's all about depth, that's what I've learned. Now I'm just taking the same black eyeshadow and I'm going to further indent those little areas that I created earlier, just to add a little more dimension. Again, with the wrinkles, just going back and forth between colors, alternating. Now I'm gonna take a white body paint and I'm going to fill in the collar. Just fill that in and then we'll go back in with the details later on. Now I'm just gonna take a light gray eyeshadow and I'm going to fill in the suit thing. Yeah, it's a suit. Um, yeah. Make sure to fill in every area And now I'm just filling in that same, like, filling in the rest of my body, arms, whatever. And But I'm leaving a little line between the, um, like, folded area and then the rest of my suit just to give me an idea of where I'm going to um, shade later on. 
Now I'm just gonna fill in my neck with that same teal we used on the skull earlier. And I'm just gonna contour a little bit with black eyeshadow just to make my neck seem a little bit slimmer so it makes sense. Marking out those little indents in my neck. Now taking a black eyeshadow, I am going to shade under the collar, make it pop out a little more, and taking a black body paint and outlining everything that I just did. Going back and forth between, you know, eyeshadow and paint. As the look goes further along, I get to see like what I want to change and what I want to keep. Now I'm just taking the same black body paint, I'm just going to shade underneath where I wanted that folded area to be, make it pop a little more, and of course, you know, most of this is off camera because I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> just adding little details here and there to make the shirt area seem more interesting. Now I'm just taking the white face paint again and I'm just going to highlight some of the areas that I want to stand out that would be on top of the shadows. So I'm just blending that all out. And there you have it, this hitchhiking Disney haunted mansion ghost is now complete. I had a lot of fun with this look and popped in my camel eyes contacts which are fabulous and yeah. It was it was a fun 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 look. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you later.